Over the past several years that Jill and I have produced The Wire, you've trusted us and invited us into your homes, businesses, events, and parties. And Doug and I have been there to capture it all. But unfortunately, only a tiny bit of your story actually makes it into the final cut. That's right. In order to keep The Wire fast-paced, entertaining, and informative, a majority of the footage shot winds up sitting on rows and rows of hard drives. But not anymore. Today, we're bringing you, your business, and your story out of the archives. Join us as Crystal Reinhardt of Old Soul Decor steps into the spotlight. And remember, it's your story. We just help you tell it. Yeah. Thank you. What's up, Justin? Okay. All right, guys. So it's called Old Soul Decor, um, specifically because myself, I'm an old soul. Uh, I like to sell antique and vintage pieces, but it's also a mix of new home decor items. It's not just large pieces of furniture. We also offer jewelry, home accessories, and lighting as well. Yeah, so we have a full website that's e-commerce that you can shop on with current items. Um, I also sell the antique and vintage pieces on Etsy and eBay. I love the history and architecture of this area. Uh, I'm lucky because I grew up here mostly. I traveled a bit when we were younger with my family, um, but when I came back after school, I purchased a home, and then when it came time to open up the retail side of things for myself, I looked for a really unique space in Westchester. I have exposed brick, um, sort of the industrial HVAC exposed, the hardwood floors, the lath walls, so it was a creative space that I knew could showcase um, what I was trying to sell well. Again, because I love architecture and history, majority of the homes that I do work on are older. Um, some are farm homes, bank barns, um, but really, you know, I can work with any client, any style home, as well as, you know, whatever style they are, you know, familiar with or love as well. Uh, I think so. A, a lot of the, the issues I see in current homeowners are just things that were fads that are dated. So what was cool 15 years ago obviously isn't the current trend. So you do see a lot of those one painted accent walls. Um, you see a lot of kind of dated drapery, whether they're valances um, or curtains that may not work with what's going on now. And there's a lot of clean contemporary minimalist style going on that everybody's kind of transitioning to. I'm a very eclectic designer, so I'm mixing in contemporary with, with antique pieces. Um, so again, it, just because you're, the architectural bones of the home is old, it doesn't mean you can't have that kind of modern minimalist look that's kind of in right now. So no, I don't think it's difficult to bring that into older homes. What I'm doing a lot of right now are feature walls um, with self-removable wallpaper. It's DIY friendly, so it doesn't mean, again, you're not breaking the bank. You can do it yourself. I promise it's not that hard. So what that means is it's literally like a sticker. Um, you peel off the back. So you can reposition it. It's very um, user friendly and it's also forgivable. I've actually crinkled a roll up in frustration, pulled it apart, put it back up on the wall um, and it's worked. So just like you can see, sticky, it'll adhere. Um, this is one of my you know, best sellers here. It's the palette wood. It's in blue and warm tones. Again, so for people who don't want to spend the money for that palette wood accent wall, this is your next best thing. Um, it's going to give you the look from afar. People actually believe it's wood when they get up close and they touch it. They're shocked that it's not real. You can do staircase risers, um, which again, we all know that they get scuffed from daily life and kids. This is a really awesome way to hide that and give a little pop of color. Um, I've done refrigerator doors. I have done the fronts of furniture. Uh, and again, small powder rooms are a fun way to do it. Accent walls behind your headboard or in a dining room. So it's bang for your buck. It's environmentally friendly and it's DIY friendly. So it's a great um, you know, piece to add color to your home. A lot of what you see featured in this showcase is a company called SoCo. It's made from recycled brass, aluminum, and chrome. It's a fair trade company out of Kenya, female founded. Um, the, some of the newer product I carry at the store, I like for it to have a good cause. So whether giving back to that community, whether it's fair trade or again, non-toxic, organic um, you know, content, that's really important to me. And I think you know, currently what's really important to a lot of people is conscious consumerism. So again, I'm very, I pay attention a lot to the companies who are offering that. 
This line here that I carry is called Dash and Albert. Again, um, you know, it's a non-toxic company, so a lot of what you're hearing right now is that the padding is toxic. Um, this is not, it's environmentally friendly. The patterns are really cool. This is, you know, vintage inspired. You're seeing a lot of Moroccan geometric prints coming in right now that's trending. Um, but again, the line is very versatile. This is nice and soft wool. We also have Cecil's here, which are great for high traffic areas, so covered porches, um, you know, outdoor patios. And then it's not just for, you know, living spaces. We have children's patterns, um, you know, a wide color palette. And anything that I have, generally I have samples, but again, we have the entire catalog, so I can order in a sample for, you know, whatever you're looking at. So again, old soul for me, it's character, um, it's worn rugs. These are one of a kind antique and semi vintage rugs you're gonna find. I love things that have geometric patterns to it. Um, so this is a little bit more funky, kind of what's trending currently, but then obviously certain people like more traditional rugs. So this is a Saruk here. Um, the difference between newly manufactured and vintage and antique, these are all handmade. So you're gonna see the actual weave on the back end. Um, they're not gonna be perfect. They're gonna have some wear marks and it's not gonna be perfectly symmetrical. So with antique and vintage, they're not standard sizes. You're gonna see four by six, you know, nine by 13 versus your traditional machine made are gonna be, you know, four by six, five by eight, eight by 10, nine by 12. So it's something unique that, I know, again, I think brings layers, character and warmth to your home. People come into the store, a lot of the items are larger. You need something for everybody. You need giftables. Um, this is one of our seasonal scents that we carry. It's Times, and they are made in the US. Again, it's a soy-based product, so non-toxic to breathe in, very important. The packaging is beautiful, and it's also reusable. So anything, again, that I'm carrying, I'm thinking about what can you do with it after it's you know used or, or complete. So the simmered cider you see in the copper pots, you see it in the votive, you see it in the mug. Um, again, this is huge with the younger demographic. Everybody probably knows about a Moscow Mule. That is what it's served in, is the copper mug. So you smell that wonderful kind of apple scent, um, and then you can reuse the packaging that it comes in. We're almost at the holidays. Again, you know, retail, we're already putting out Christmas items. A little scary, but this here is the Fraser Fir. It smells like a pine tree. Um, again, I think it's a really cool product to have because not everybody can put a live Christmas tree in their home. This lit makes you feel in the holiday spirit. Um, it has beautiful packaging. The burn time on these are unreal. Um, honestly, the bigger ones are gonna last you 70, 80 hours. This here, this silver packaging, it's buy one, plant one. So for every candle you buy, they plant a tree. Um, for your purchase, it has a serial number so you can actually go online and locate where that tree was planted. So again, whether you're treating yourself for it or you're giving it as a gift, it has a good cause. So I think that's important. I think what's unique about Old Soul for me is, yes, we sell antique and vintage, but again, we have that relationship with large trade accounts. So um, we can really remove that stress from your daily life in terms of interior design or even going and making a small purchase. When you go into the big box store, you feel pressured, people follow you around. That's not the goal here at Old Soul. We want you to feel comfortable. We you know, genuinely care about you, what your style is, giving you great customer service. Um, and a lot of people, I think, don't realize this store is in the borough and the depth of what we can offer you. So we can design from start to finish. So for some people, your lives are busy, you have kids, you're traveling. Um, we can handle it from one piece of furniture all the way to decorating your entire home. Um, what that means is we're installing it for you. We're handling if something's damaged. Um, we're there to receive the deliveries, which I think, again, is very, very important. Thanks for visiting me at Old Soul today. I really hope to meet you all soon. And a huge thanks to Doug and Jill for visiting me and Woo! putting me on the Let spotlight today. You're in the spotlight today. Why, Jill? Because real estate's about much more than homes, buildings, and land. It's about the people in the communities where they live, work, and play. Until next time, I'm Doug. And I'm Jill. And I'm Crystal. Thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Done. And that was it. We still have crouching. That was it. I'm laughing. We're that still was it. I it. didn't crouch. I stood I straight. Was, I was like this. I was not crouching. It was great. <laughs> Rock the house, pal. Come on, help me turn it out. I'm MD, bang, and I rock the house. Yeah, you know I'm gonna turn it out, young.